everyone and welcome back to another video. I have a really exciting one for you today. So obviously I was away on my course and there was a Yusk near me. Now I don't have one near me um, so to be close to one was super exciting and I have a massive haul to share with you. Um, but first make sure you grab a cozy drink of choice uh, get snuggled up and get ready for this video because there is a lot. First, I'm going to insert the footage of um, around the store so you can kind of see what's new in. So I'll insert that now. I think we lost all, but who will take the fall? Who will win it all? You know the cost. Still you go through walls Keep on acting small Even if you got something left to lose Even if there is something left for you to prove I got bad taste of hanging around you Trying to save my 
Because I miss you so much I miss the way we touch And I need to make it stop But I still think about it all the time I won't stop until it's over, over But I still think about it all the time It's never over till it's over, yeah But I still think about it all the time It won't stop until it's over, yeah But I still think about it all the time It's never over till it's over, baby, Yo 
right, let's get in to this exciting haul. So, I don't even know where to begin. There is literally so much. Um, right, I've got two of these cushions. Um, they are um, feather based, so they are choppable. Um, they are 50 by 50 and I don't know if you can see. I think these were six pounds each. Um, I will try and remember lots of price. So I do have a receipt here, um, but it's not for everything. So I did do a couple of transactions. So I think they were six pounds each. And then I bought loads of these actually. So they are little solar lights that you can hang from the trees and they are glass, they are really heavyweight actually, and these were only two pounds each. They are actually reduced at the moment. So I've got this whole kind of, it's actually like a, a plant pot, is full of them. I just put them in there really to protect them. But I also bought this plant pot, which I absolutely love. It's a black mat, and it's just kind of like got all of these gaps. This could either be used as a plant pot or to put tea light in, which is obviously going to cause a gorgeous um, <coughs> excuse me, it's hay fever season and I'm suffering. Um, yeah, we could put a tea light in and obviously all of the light would shine through, which I thought was lovely. Um, is this on here? Yes, this was six pounds. So this was reduced from 8 99 So they do have kind of like lots of things in store at the moment that have got reductions. Um, I next bought this caddy. I thought this caddy would be perfect for carrying just a few essential cleaning products around the house. Um, I'm not actually sure if I've got the receipt for this one. What I would do, because I can't actually find my receipt for the big bag, what I would do is I'll try and link as much below as possible. So obviously you can just have a quick look. But yeah, I just thought this was really good, perfect for carrying around the house. I have actually filled it with stuff um, to carry out the store. So I found this dish brush, um, which comes with this ceramic base and obviously the dish brush in it. I just thought I absolutely love that. Perfect for utility or a kitchen. I found a bamboo toothbrush. This was super cheap. I think it was literally like 50p or a pound or something. Um, I just like the aesthetics of a bamboo toothbrush. And I bought this gorgeous um, glass soap dispenser. Now I'm gonna show you close up. It's kind of got this bubbled effect inside, like as in on the glass. And then this brushed, like goldy kind of pump. Um, yeah, and I just thought I like it. It's kind of, it's funny, in certain lights, like now, this kind of looks almost like, I suppose like beige tones. But in different lights, this glass looks different colours. But yeah, I really like that. And then I also bought this toothbrush glass holder as well, which matches. Again, it's got that bubbled effect in the glass. It's not huge, but perfect for storing a toothbrush or some toothpaste in. And then I bought one of these scented oils in lemongrass. I thought this would be perfect. I thought this would be perfect for a kitchen or a utility because lemongrass is well known for getting rid of um, kitchen smells. And I love the packaging. It's kind of like a gold top here. And yeah, I really like it. Don't know how long it will scent or how strong it'll be, but I thought it was worth a go. And then I bought two of these actually two um, candles, faux candles, but they've also got the flame effect, like the plastic flame, which obviously will make it look like it's a flickering flame. 
and I think, yeah, these are just battery operated. So I bought two of those, a large one and a small one. Just notice actually they've got timers on them as well. So you can have them for eight hours on, 16 hours off. Obviously, if you wanted to put these out in the garden. I bought some paper napkins just in a really lovely um, neutral beige tone. I always keep napkins on my dining table. I bought this basket, which is obviously collapsible and it opens up. I did buy another one of these in a previous haul for my boot of my car for storing um, bits of my new job. So I thought I'd get another one and I absolutely loved this colour. It's kind of like a, a brownie orangey colour. Yeah, I really like that. And found this storage jar. Now I'm not sure whether to use this in my bathroom or the kitchen yet, but it has got a removable lid. It's, I don't know if this is mango. Oh, it was. That's a good guess, isn't it? Yeah, it's mango wood. So obviously all of these were all slightly different because wood tones are so all different. Um, but yeah, I just really like that. I thought it'd be perfect to use utility, bathroom, kitchen. And then to match that, I also bought this little tray. Now, my idea for this tray is to have this in my ensuite next to, I'm hoping it will fit next to the tap to fit the um, soap dispenser and the toothbrush holder in. Again, it's in this mango wood and they were all slightly different. So you can kind of choose which tones you want. Some were lighter, some were darker. Um, I found this cushion cover, which is linen and it's like a beigey tone. But what I actually like about it is it has the wording essentials on it, uh, pure linen. And I just, I don't know, I just like that. I thought that looked really nice on a cushion just to have that simple wording and the lettering, the font is really nice as well. And it's super soft. I bought a pack of hooks. These were a pack of three. They take two kilograms each. I thought these would be handy in the kitchen. Uh, either for hanging a tea towel on. I wouldn't have it on the outside the door, but certainly on the inside or my stall cupboard. Multiple uses for these. And obviously they hold two kilograms each, which is actually quite strong. Um, bought a parasol cover. I did buy a um, parasol and base. I will show you that now. So yeah, I thought this would be perfect for protecting it from all weathers, as obviously in the UK, our weather fluctuates a lot. I bought another one of these shopping bags. They're a recycled bag. The one I've got already is kind of like a burnt orangey colour. I really love this dark green colour. And yeah, they're quite big bags, actually. I really like them. It says Love Planet Everyday Essentials on it. And then I bought a faux plant. I think this is for my son's room. Gathering lots of bits to kind of do a makeover in his room. Um, which is proving difficult to be honest with you because it's finding a time when I can actually get in and actually do things to his room because he's always in it. Oh, these are wrapped up. This is like Christmas. I can't even remember what I bought. Uh, yes, so this is for his room. Just a decorative vase. Um, it's almost got like a rubbery feel to it. It's obviously china, but the coating is like rubbery. So I just really like that. Fairly simple. And I thought even like a stem of eucalyptus sticking out would look nice. Sorry if I keep sniffing. Um, hay fever is so bad. Oh, so 
also I didn't actually realize this but I because I did two tri different transactions on different days I didn't realize but I'd actually bought another one of these that's not a problem because one is from my son's room and I might even have this one outside to be honest with you with a flickering um tea light not a real tea light just like a fake one so yeah bought another one of those which I obviously didn't realize <laughs> shows I like it though because I bought it twice and then I bought this duvet, which I'm not sure it's actually got, oh, uh, it hasn't got the ticket. Oh no, no, it hasn't really got the ticket on anymore. Uh, this is a double and it is 4.5 tog. So I've bought this for my son's room. So this will be perfect for putting on his bed. Obviously it's getting super warm. Um, and you certainly don't want a winter duvet on at the moment. I bought two of these candles. Uh, they're called taper candles, but they've also got the kind of like flame effect. <sighs> oh, excuse me. They've got the flame effect at the top. Um, and I'm presuming these are battery operated. Yes, they are two AA batteries. And lastly, oh, I think four of these. They are solar garden lights. I just quite like these. Um, I think I'm going to put them dotted around the garden somewhere. This bit pulls out. You obviously turn it around that way, and then you've got stake to go on the ground. And obviously solar, it recharges from the sun, so no batteries, none of that hassle. Um, oh. Yeah, I bought those. So, bought quite a bit really from this. I'm absolutely obsessed with Yusk. Um, it's very much like Ikea, but obviously lots of different things. Um, and honestly, I could have spent a fortune. Well, I did spend quite a bit. Uh, the umbrella, I think, was 45, and I think the base was 35. So I just thought I would show you the patio base and the umbrella I bought. So this was the umbrella from Yusk. This was £45 and I got it in a beige colour. It also tilts and you just wind it up. And then the base here is kind of like a granite. It's very, very, very heavy, but very solid. These bits as well. So yeah, I did spend quite a lot but mainly because I know that obviously I don't really live near one. Um, I can't just pop back tomorrow and get um, a few of the bits. They do do delivery, but their delivery can be quite expensive because they base it on the item and its weight. So obviously there's cost implications there. But yeah, I really hope you have enjoyed this. Um, if you have a Yusk next near you or, you know, fairly close by that you could travel to or even just check out online it's definitely worth it i loved my little shopping trip um, and i hope you enjoyed it too so i will see you soon in the next video take care everybody